good day everybody welcome to my new course on reviewing a pipe stress analysis report we all know that many a times we need to review pipe stress analysis reports for example uh, you have offloaded your stress analysis work to some third party contractor and they after analyzing submit to us for reviewing then it is your responsibility to find out whether they have followed exact specification and whatever your project requirements are there those are covered or not so based on that you have to check the complete report and give comments if they are deviating from any of your points so based on that i am preparing this course so welcome to my course reviewing a pipe stress analysis report in this course we will be covering the following points first is introduction means in this section we will be telling that what does this term reviewing a pipe stress analysis report means then what are the types of reviews that are normally performed in any design consultancy consultancy or epc organizations then what are the reasons that one should review a stress analysis report so those causes or reasons we will be checking out then what to review in the stress analysis report what are the points or what are the sections that one should review to understand whether the stress analysis report is meeting all the requirements then steps for reviewing where to start means when a report comes to you from which point you should start reviewing the report then practical example of an actual stress analysis report for reviewing in this section i will be showing you the a actual stress analysis report which is received from some uh, organization for reviewing and we will be see these steps and also the sections which we normally review and at the end we will be learning some of the best practices that should be followed during the reviewing operation of the pipe stress analysis report now introduction so what is reviewing so reviewing a pipe stress analysis report involves examining a detailed technical document that presents the results of an analysis performed on a piping system to assess its structural integrity and performance under various operating conditions you already know that a piping system have various conditions of operation like uh, even code also tells us to check various stresses like sustain stress then expansion stress hydrostatic stress uh, stress case so all those stress cases we have to check in the system whether they have performed or not or whether the report is showing as considered or not and then we have to verify this type of analysis is commonly conducted in industries such as oil and gas petrochemicals power generation food processing industry chemical industry and many others wherever complex piping systems are used to transport fluids or gases so in any industry wherever complex piping systems are used for carrying fluids or gassing from one place to other or in any process plants even sometimes equipment packages where piping systems are involved so all those systems are required to be reviewed reviewing a stress analysis report is a mandatory acti activity which should be performed to ensure the proper quality of the analyzed system now what are the types of review means what are the different types of review that are normally performed in any organization so in general there are three kinds of review process one is called internal review 
so what is done in this case the each stress analysis report must be reviewed by a senior engineer before issuing it to the client for example my company is performing the stress analysis report so if it is done or performed by some engineer or some senior engineer then the stress analysis report must be reviewed by some other senior engineer or principal engineer means who is more experienced than the guy who is performing the stress analysis so this is called the internal review so what will happen while internal reviewing uh, if there are any simple mistakes performed by the engineer who is performing uh, any specific project information or requirement is not captured that is checked by the senior engineer and he will be updating the a performing engineer which he can easily incorporate before sending it to client so automatically from client side the comments uh, what will be received will be come uh, will be uh, very less and it will be even possible in the first chance itself the client accept the report or approve the report then second is the third party review now sometimes client wants to send some third parties for reviewing the report so in this case what happens uh, for example if i am performing the stress analysis and then sending to client client may not be having the capability or they do not want to do the uh, review process so he may be sending the report to some third party to take their opinion so this type of review process is known as third party review and then it will be client review means in that case client directly reviews the report or after third party review is completed then it will be coming to the client for their final review this will be the end review before accepting Uh, or approving the stress report and in any stage if there are any comments a comment resolution sheet is prepared and that uh, sheet along with the proper comments indicating or highlighting the sections where from where or from which clauses the comment are coming so that uh, the engineer who has performed the stress analysis uh, he can take care during the next revision of the report so this is the mainly the introduction part of the reviewing a pipe stress analysis report process now why to review means what are the main reasons that a stress analysis report must be reviewed so the primary objectives of reviewing a pipe stress analysis report are first is verification of design so we know that a stress analysis report whether it is piping or pipeline must be designed based on sound design codes for example process piping it is designed based on asme b31.3 code if it is power piping it may be designed based on asme b31.1 code if it is a pipeline if liquid then may be based on asme b31.4 code or if it is a gas pipeline then it will be based on asme b31.8 code so we have to ensure that the piping systems design compliance with the relevant industry codes standards and regulations this includes confirming that the stress levels displacements and other parameters fall within the acceptable limits that are prescribed in those codes and standards so what will happen it will prevent the potential failure or damages to the system the next is safety and reliability so reviewing a stress analysis report will assess the system's safety and reliability by examining how it responds to different loads including thermal expansion pressure external forces and seismic events so this will help to identify potential failure modes or failure points weaknesses or excessive stresses that could compromise the integrity of the complete system next is operational performance so, so in this section It, the stress report is evaluated 
to understand how the piping system will perform under various operating scenarios such as startup scenario shutdown scenario any transient condition scenario steady state operation etc this analysis ensures that the system can function as intended without adverse effects on its components next will be mitigation of risks so i did in this part this stress report will be identifying the potential risks and hazards associated with the piping systems operation and recommend appropriate measures to mitigate these risks this might involve suggesting some design changes for example we all know that while performing stress analysis it may be required uh, to change the pipe routes to qualify or to reduce some loads or stresses then support modifications and material selection adjustments etc so mitigation of risk is also one of the reason that we have to review the pipe stress analysis report next compliance with the specification so reviewing ensures that the analysis and its results align with the project specific requirements any deviation or discrepancies should be addressed and resolved so this ensures that whatever project specific requirement is there that is already taken care of in this stress analysis the communication of the findings so during reviewing if we find that something is missing the report is or review process is a method to communicate those findings to the analysis to various stakeholders including engineers designers project managers and regulatory authorities reviewing the report help ensure accurate and clear communication of technical information and last but not the least it is the quality assurance so reviewing the analysis report is a step in the quality assurance process ensuring that the analysis was conducted accurately and that the reported results are reliable so now you know that why one should review the stress analysis report now who should review this report in general the reports must be or should be reviewed by experienced piping stress engineers who is having at least 10 years of experience who understands the complete stress analysis process as well as failure modes so he will be quickly able to review the system and also understand from where normally uh, people makes mistakes so that those points he can easily point out then it could be team leads whoever is leading the project in the piping department he can check the system then discipline heads discipline managers or discipline heads uh, they also check in general every stress analysis report is signed by three professionals first is the performing engineer second is the whoever is checking means checker and finally it is by the discipline head so each report must be reviewed or checked by additional two members so one may be team lead and the final may be discipline manager or discipline head during the review process it's important to have individuals with expertise in pipe stress analysis structural engineering and relevant industry standards involved the reviewer should carefully assess the methodology used in the analysis the assumptions made the input data used and the conclusions drawn any discrepancies concerns or recommendations for improvements should be documented and addressed before the piping system is constructed or put into operation so hope this point is also clear to you again one who has understanding of the current project and the project specific requirements so whoever is reviewing he must know the current project and the project specific requirements otherwise what will happen uh, for a specific project sometimes requirements changes so if he is not aware of those changes so those points may be missed 
so that's all for the introduction of this course hope to see you in the full course thank you happy learning